Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for coming back and watching another video of mine. I was asked another video of mine by a commenter called Jean Rose if I could give my thoughts on Angular. So I just want to preface this with all the stuff I'm going to be saying here is my opinions. I'm probably going to get some stuff wrong. I'm not talking facts. Um, if I make mistakes, let me know. Um, but again, this is all personal opinion. I'm not trying to say Angular is better than React or better than Vue. This is just me working with a framework, just giving my opinion on working with it. So on a professional level, I've been using Angular uh, since December 2017. So only at this point a couple of months. Now I came from working mainly in AngularJS, that's the framework I learned at my bootcamp. It was the framework that I was working in at my first job as a web developer. Um, so I really got to know AngularJS, the ins and outs of it, really, really, really well. So at my new job when I got there, and I knew this ahead of time that we'd be working in Angular 2, but I still don't think I'd grasped the just insane learning curve that there would be in going into this new framework. Like the only exposure I'd really had to it was a couple of Udemy courses that I'd taken in my personal time and just kind of watching some YouTube videos and reading through the Angular documentation to kind of get a bit of better idea of what I was getting myself into. So when I first started using it, I had no idea what I was doing. Obviously, Angular JS and Angular, the only things they really have in common are the name, the, the fact that there is the word Angular in the name. In reality, that's about it. Um, so I was really sort of taken aback when I first started using it. I really had no idea what I was doing. I had no real concept of MVC, of component-based work, um, TypeScript. <sighs> I think that reaction says enough about how I felt about TypeScript when I first started doing it. Um, I, I couldn't even work out how to do basic stuff like write a function, like write a function in JavaScript write a function that sorts and loops through an array. Like I couldn't work out how to do that in TypeScript. So when I first started working with Angular, I was really, really frustrated. Um, it was really difficult for me. My team leader at the time, he um, was having some exams, so he wasn't really at work a lot. So I didn't really have anybody to ask about what I was doing. So my main learning curve really came through like looking at other projects my company has been building and kind of just trying to learn from looking at other people's code. But then eventually by doing that, I kind of started to get it. I started to see the flow. I started to see how stuff was supposed to be put together. That coupled with the Angular documentation and doing a couple of Udemy courses again. I've linked them down below, by the way. They're absolutely amazing. By a mix of all those things coming together, I kind of started to get what I was supposed to be doing. Then my team leader came back to work um, after his exams and looked at what I had been doing um, we basically took a day, <laughs> sat in an office, just me and him, and rewrote everything that I'd done up to that point. Um, he gave me a lot of constructive criticism <laughs> about what I'd done, but he also gave me a lot of encouragement to see that without any help at all, I kind of cobbled together this web app that I was supposed to be building um, with no background in this framework. And since that kind of came together, I've now actually really fallen in love with the Angular framework. Um, if I look at it compared to AngularJS, I love the component-based nature to it. I love that everything is really compartmentalized. Um, I love that, at least how I do it, I work with a central data service that does all my talking to the server. So I don't need to, through every component or in AngularJS, like every module, I don't need to make those calls from every module. All I have to do in a component is just say, go to the data service, run this function and give me back what the server sends you. So I really love that broken down way of building because it, it, in terms of like web development as whole, that's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to take your big problem and you're supposed to break it down into a ton of little problems and then build those little problems until you have built what you wanted to build. I kind of feel that's how Angular works as a framework, that instead of looking at the giant project that you're supposed to be building, you take each component, you take each piece of the website you're supposed to build, you break it down into its littlest possible pieces and you build those little pieces together. You have a data service that deals with talking to the service. You only need to do that in one place. So I've actually really 
fallen in love with this way of working. And it's also given me a really great push to know that learning a new framework or learning a new sort of uh, library isn't that hard. I think obviously the big debate out there in the world right now is Angular versus React. What's better to know? What's better to learn? What's better to work with? I don't have an opinion on that because I've never done React. But having now learned Angular and I'm still learning it, it's kind of given me that drive and that push to say, okay, like, let's go and learn React eventually. Like, once I've got a good handle on Angular, let's go and learn React. There's no need to be afraid of it anymore. I think that's one of the main conclusions I can take away from this process is that it sucks learning new stuff. Um, when I first started with the framework again, I didn't know anything. I didn't know what I was doing. I was really disappointed. I was really annoyed that I didn't know what I was doing. Not a lot of documentation out there exists. There's not a lot of clear sort of beginner focused documentation. So I kind of felt really frustrated, but eventually once you know the pieces started to click and I started to get a better idea of what I was supposed to be doing, then it all started coming together. And then suddenly I look back at where I was now, two or three months ago and I go, wow, like, yeah, I didn't know anything, but now I do. Up to the point where I'm now rebuilding one of my personal projects in Angular 2. Like I'd already built a pretty solid piece of software in Angular JS, and I just stopped it. I threw it all in the bin and I rebuilt that software or I'm currently rebuilding it from scratch in Angular 2 because I'm really loving how that framework works and just it works for me in a more logical way. So a bit rambly but in a roundabout way, Angular, great framework, really love it. It sucks in the beginning but just keep pressing on and you'll, you know, you'll get it eventually like with everything in web development. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any opinions about Angular, let me know down below. I'm sure there will be some. Um, if you like working with it, you don't like working it, why React is better, let me know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please go ahead. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching.